In this tutorial, I'll teach you how easy it is for you to add and customize weather effects like clouds, wind, lightning, rain, and snow to your videos or images. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here, you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Now let's get started. I have Video Studio opened up with a few different clips already added to the video track on my timeline. My first clip is an image of a kite in the sky, and I want to give the illusion that this kite is flying. To begin, I'll click on the FX tab. Then select the special category from the drop-down menu. And here we have a number of different weather effects we can add to this image. To create the effect I'm going for, I want to use both the cloud and wind effects. I'll start by clicking on the wind effect and dragging it over top of my clip on the timeline. If you preview this, you'll see the effect has been added. But I want to make the wind flow less intensely, so I'm going to change the preset by double-clicking on the clip on my timeline to bring up the effect editor. Then click on the arrow icon beside the thumbnail of the hot air balloon, and you can preview various different presets for the wind effect. I'm going to choose this one because it has a less intense wind flow. Now I'll click on Show Library Panel to access my effects filters again, and this time select the cloud effect and I'll drag it on top of the kite clip as well. Now with this preset, you can see that the clouds cover the hills as well as the sky, which obviously doesn't look natural. Click on Customize Filter to make some adjustments. If I drag the slider across the timeline, you'll see how the clouds move to the right and how they go over the hilltop. To make adjustments to the size of the clouds, I'll first drag the slider to the first keyframe. Then click on the Advanced tab, and switch the motion type to emitter. From here, we can click on the small box on the preview pane and adjust where we want the starting position of the cloud effect. Then adjust the emitter width tab and the emitter height tabs to get the starting size you would like. If you drag the slider across the timeline, you'll see that the clouds are now above the hill and are not on top of the ground so it looks much more natural. You can play around with these settings on the various keyframes until you're happy with them, and then click OK. Also, when there is more than one video filter applied to a clip, you can change the order of filters by clicking the Move Filter Up or Down icons. And now we can press play to preview our new clip. For my second image, I want to make it look like it's a stormy evening, so I'm going to drag the Rain filter onto the clip on the timeline. Then change the preset so it looks like it is raining heavily. Next, I'll go back to the effects library and drag the lightning effect on top of the image as well. And now when we preview the clip, it's created the illusion of a big storm. In this final example, I'm going to use a video clip of deer in the forest, and I want to make it look like it's snowing. We can do this by altering the rain effect to create snow. I'll go back to the effects library and add the rain effect to my final clip. Then double click on the video and select the customize filter button. Now under the basic tab, we'll adjust some of the attributes to the starting keyframe. We'll change the density to 1000, then the length to one, the width to 25, the background blur to 0, variance to 85, body to 0, and opacity to 75. You can play with these settings to get the ideal snow effect you're after. In the Advanced tab, we'll change the speed to 20, wind direction to 270, turbulence to 20, and vibration to 20. By adjusting these values, you can produce a snow effect to the scene. Now I'll move to the final keyframe and apply the same values that I applied in the starting keyframe to this one. And then we can press play to preview. And now it looks like it's snowing in the forest. So once you're happy with these settings, click OK. 
These are just a few of the effects you can add to your clips to customize them to add a natural or even supernatural effect to your images and videos. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here, you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for Video Studio.